Today I got a pretty much brand new MSI GE75 gaming laptop. I'm going to do some upgrading, um, cloning, make it better. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I got an MSI GE75 Raider gaming laptop. Um, nice laptop, got some nice specs. We are gonna upgrade the, SS, the NVMe SSD. I'm gonna put in more memory. Uh, I'm gonna do a clone, because uh, he has a lot of games on here he doesn't wanna have to reinstall, so. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is use the, Sam, the free Samsung data migration software because I'm installing a brand new Samsung Evo 970 plus, one terabyte. He currently has a 512 Western Digital SSD in there, and it's got 16 gigs of DDR4 memory. We're gonna up that with some new Viper Steel memory to a total of 32. I'll put in two new 16 gig sticks of 2666 megahertz memory. Um, I'm gonna use this little enclosure that I have here for the cloning process. This is more or less a demonstration for if you, so if you're doing this at home, you can get an adapter like this to put your brand new drive in. Now this particular adapter, I have a link down below where you can buy one of these online. They're a little spendy, but they're very versatile. This only accepts NVMe, PCI Express, SSDs, not SATA M.2 drives. So it simply just plugs right in to the enclosure and it pops right over the little rubber grommet there. You don't even need a tool. Now when all is said and done, you can use this for like an external drive, put any SSD you want in there as long as it's NVMe. So it comes with a cable here to hook it up to your laptop, either C to C, and it also comes with a C to A cable. So in this case, I'm gonna use the C because he's got a C port USB there. So we're gonna plug it in. Um, the Samsung data migration software is what I'm gonna use. It's, it's from Samsung, it's totally free. I'll have a link down below so you can download it. And I already have it pre-installed on this computer. It's right here on the desktop. I'll just open it. And if you have uh, device encryption or, or BitLocker on your computer enabled, you need to disable it first before you start cloning because you can't clone with any kind of BitLocker or device encryption turned on. So keep that in mind. You can check that right through, go to your settings and go to update and security, that's where it would be. So here's our source drive right up here, the Western Digital 512. And here's our, hopefully there's our target drive, the Samsung 970 Evo. So we're going to choose that. This is basically a before and after. And, and all you have to do is click on start here. And this is going to tell you that it's going to erase everything on the target drive and you need to restart. So I'm just going to hit OK. And once it gets going here, I'm going to pause and I'll come back right at the end when it's almost done. We'll wrap this up. Then we'll get inside and put in the new parts. I just want to get this going here so you can see. Uh, but this is a really nice laptop. It has a GeForce RTX 2070 graphics. Um, it's got an RGB keyboard. It's got backlit USB ports, which is kind of cool. They light up red. That's kind of kind of sexy. You can see right there. And there's another one over on this side that does the same thing. Um, it's got a 240 hertz full 1080 display. Beautiful looking display. Comes with a 230 watt. 230 watt. 230.1 watt AC adapter. <laughs> um, and it's a 17 inch model, of course, 17.3 inch. It's got a really nice display on it though, I like it. And this has a 10th generation Core i7 processor in it. I'll have all, all the specs on the screen there for you. I just want to let that kick up to the first 1% before I pause this guy, so bear with me. Come on, Samsung, you can do it. It's blinking. Cloning process shouldn't take too long because there's not too much on this computer yet. Well, a bunch of games, which are huge.
All right, guys, I'm not going to bore you with this. It's going to get going here, but I'll come back right at the end when it's just about done, and we'll wrap this up. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, just finished up. Um, it, it shut down automatically after the clone. It took about, went about 18, 20 minutes, something like that, for the full clone. That's not bad, considering all the stuff that's on it. So let me un disconnect the, or the enclosure here. I'm going to remove this. Nice and warm, which is good. Done with that for now. <clears throat> all right, so it's all the way shut off. Uh, make sure it's all the way shut off when you start to open up. I'm going to flip it over. And I've already moved all the screws uh, ahead of time. Didn't want to worry with that. I got them laid out over here in basically the pattern. They're all the same length, except in the back by the hinges here, there's two really short screws that go right on the, right on the edge here. So you want to make sure you get those right back in the right hole. But all you got to use is a number zero Phillips screwdriver with a good mag magnetic tip and a good quality bit or tip so you don't booger up your screws. So the screws have already been removed and I like to use these little plastic triangle spudger tools. Um, you're going to need something that's kind of stiff and, and firm uh, because these particular ones are kind of tricky to get open. So I'm just going to start right here in a corner, usually a corner if I can get it started in here. I'm going to be moving around a lot, guys, so bear with me. Somebody's phone is dinging. Oops. Ah, got to get this in here. Come on. Be nice. Got to kind of gently work it. There you go. All right. So we got it kind of started, but you don't want to be forcing it. Okay, long edges here. I think cameraman's catching that all right. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you got to be careful around these recessed ports here because it's really easy to break this plastic along these edges here. So you got to be careful getting your tool in there too hard or too far. Got it started here. All right. I've done this before, guys. I kind of know how hard I can and can't pull. You can see I got, I got a good start on it here, but yeah, along the back is where it's usually pretty, pretty stiff. So I'm going to get my other nylon spudger tool here. Try to get it started here. There's a seam along the back here. It's very small. It runs right here. You can see we already got it started. So I'm going to set this up here, guys. Sorry. Try to get my tool in there. Uh, don't mess up Mr. Drive there. There we go. And if one or two of those little plastic clippy doohickeys, one or two of them happen to break off or whatever, it's no big deal. It's going to go back on just fine. Plus, you got all the screws holding it in. <clears throat> Alright, guys, like I said, there's no real easy way this back there we go so when you lift this off just be let me show you on this side over here um these like these usb ports the plastic doesn't wrap all the way around those ports there you know lift it up so you can see what i'm talking about but on this side they're recessed so you, you got to be careful we're going to lift it up well typically well i guess it's already up you just got to be careful around these ports here be very careful started here and we're not quite loose yet over here along this edge so let me work it a little bit more trying not to things heavy get it up here okay there we go all right now we got it so you just got to be patient take your time I'll get it back over here I'm gonna lift this off hopefully all right, just like that, okay? So here's what we have. We have our GPU, our CPU, good cooling system, it looks like, really good cooling system. And here's our um, memory that we're gonna upgrade. Here's the current NVMe SSD that's in there. Now this does have the second slot, um, which this is gonna go in when all is said and done here, and I'm just gonna wipe that clean. Um, and here's the one terabyte hard drive that we're gonna leave in there. Um, so the first thing though guys is I'm going to remove the battery for poking and prodding around in there. 
Um, here's this is the battery right here, and there's one screw right here on the motherboard where it's attached or by the motherboard. So I'm going to carefully get my screwdriver there without touching the main board. Remove that screw. All right. So now this should just pull right back, just like that. There's our battery. It's a three cell battery. So one added precaution, I am going to open it carefully. I'm going to hit the power, power button a couple of times. Discharge any residual juice that's still in there. That should be good. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop out these RAM sticks. You just pinch these little metal arms apart here, just like that. that. And we're going to put take out two eighths. And where's my RAM? It's over here. Oh, sorry. So it's coming. <laughs> sorry, guys. Gonna put in our new Viper Steel DDR4, okay? And it only goes in one way. Just make sure it gets a good snap in there and that you're Arms go down good. Right. Gotta get it in there all the way. All right, and it even looks pretty. All right, so let's move uh, our five twelve here. One screw right here, holding it to the board. Even though you got your battery disconnected, just try not to touch stuff that you don't absolutely have to touch. There we go. Oh, they got some nice heat pads under it, which is good. So there's the 512. For now, I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to put this new one in its place, the one terabyte, just like that. I'm going to leave those heat pads right in place. Put the screw back in. Now for this guy, now the Samsung drives this label on the top, acts as like a heat pad. It helps spread the heat out over the NAND shifts and the controller. Um, but in this case, I'm gonna add an extra heat pad on the top. It's got heat pads on the bottom, but I'm gonna put a new one on the top here. And get one out of my little box of tricks here. <clears throat> Don't need that. I'm just going to lay this right across here, nice and even, just like that. Now the way this goes back on, just like this, there is ventilation, pretty good ventilation right here over top of the SSD or the MBM M.2 area. So we're good to go there, we got the screw, we got our new RAM. Uh, I am going to just, before I put that other drive back in here, I might even nuke it before I put it back in. I'm going to turn this on and see if our clone went good. I just got it kind of sitting there. Oh, you can't do that without the battery, Dale. Sorry. Ew, gobbledy good. Why don't one of you guys tell me? You missed it. Uh, got a lot of these to do today, guys. I've got to keep my mind focused here. So I'm going to plug the battery back in carefully. I should put that screw back in there. I don't want it falling out. Is there something glowing in here, or is it just me? <laughs> huh? I think it's just you. Is it just me? <laughs> I know, my shirt's kind of loud, sorry. I love it. Get this back on here. Just want it on there long enough to turn it on, keep everything protected. All right, now we got a battery. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. We got the battery situation squared away. Um, I put the 512 gigabyte SSD back in that second slot, of course, along with the new one. <clears throat> I wiped that SSD, that 512. I was going to do it in the computer, but I just took it over to my cloning station real quick, and I just erased it. Didn't want any confusion. Boom, we're in Windows. So let me go check real quick. You see, we obviously have a good clone there. 
there's our new one terabyte drive there. Uh, I'm gonna go down on the start button here. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to disk management right here. And boom, there's uh, the 512 popping up as a new uninitialized drive. It's right here on the top, unallocated. So all you gotta do is right click, new simple volume. Basically just accept all the defaults here unless you want to put a partition or a couple of partitions on it. But we'll just do a quick format on it. It should pop right up here in a second. <clears throat> and you can see, boom, there it is. And here's our new one terabyte. We're good to go there. Um, just double check again on that memory. Go to performance. Boom, there's our 32 gigs of RAM. So yeah, we're good. We got our three drives. You can right click on these and rename them, you know, whatever you want just for a volume label. All right, so took a little bit of time. We got a nice little upgrade. Went from 16 gigs to 32 gigs of DDR4, 2666. Went to a one terabyte Samsung Evo 970. Um, put the five plus an extra 512 gigabyte SSD of storage. So I hope the video was helpful, helpful guys. If you liked it, give me a like. If you loved it, give me a sub. I'd appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.